Verse 44. On Monday, as I was you see that you don't have to stand. On Monday, when I was driving, as I do every week, me and Deacon Johnson, and the Lord began to deal with me about Sunday. And I said to myself, Lord, it's just Monday. Sunday ain't got here yet. And the Lord began to deal with me about today. Yeah, St. John chapter And today being Mother's Day, I've never been able to be a, what you call it, a special occasion preacher. In other words, I've never been able to preach a sermon that fits certain occasions. I can, but I like to be led of the Lord as to what to preach. Because if I preach an occasional sermon, it may not be what some people need to hear at that time. All right. And we all know it's Mother's Day, and we give honor to mothers. And that's a come I gave y'all honor before I start preaching. So you can't walk out and say he didn't say nothing about Mother's Day. So that's a come, Sister Western, I put the honor up front. And now I can get down to the nitty gritty and preach the word of God. And this sermon that God gave me, I preached over 25 years ago. And it came to me, Daisy, just as clear as I'm looking at y'all, sitting in that car. And I heard the voice of God say to me, this is what I want you to say. Even though it's Mother's Day, somebody needs to be reminded of this sermon that I'm going to preach right now. Even though I preached it 25 years ago, the people I preached it to 25 years ago are different from the people that are here now. And sometimes God will do that to a preacher. God will have you to re-preach something. But it would be different preaching from when you first preached it. In other words, it carries a different anointing than it carried on the first time you preached it. Y'all understand that? So in the book of St. John 8.44, these are the words of your Lord and Savior. Ye are of your father the devil. Mm. Y'all with me? Yeah. Mm. And the lust of your fathers ye will do. Uh -huh. He was a murderer mm. from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie. He speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because of you, because I tell you the truth, ye believe not me. Amen. Now I want to place close emphasis on that 44th verse, the latter part. Where Sister Maddie Jesus looked the devil in the face uh -huh. and said, you are a liar. He said, and not only, Brother Blanco, did he look the devil in the face and call the devil a liar, he said, you are a liar and the father of lies. Mm, my God. Will you look at the one beside you and I want you to put some volume to your voice. I'm going to ask you to say it again. And if you a scary cat, if you a spiritual sissy, <laughs> as we say in the, in the 70s, if you a spiritual punk, you ain't got to say it. But if you ain't afraid to say it, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. The, devil the devil is still a liar. Still a liar. Or one more time, neighbor, neighbor. The, devil the devil is still a liar. Still a liar. Yes, is. is that all right? He's still a liar. I heard one preacher say he's a liar and he smell like smoke. What that meant, I don't know. <laughs> but he's still a liar. He ain't stopped lying. He's still lying. Say amen. I could have easily said Juanita, I could have easily titled the message, The Devil is a Liar, and left it right there. But I want to let y'all know what the devil's been doing for the last 6,000 years and what he's doing in 2020 
he's still a liar. He hasn't changed, but he's still up to his old dirty tricks. And he's still lying. In this text, Jesus looked the devil in the face. As I said, he called him a liar. And my brothers and sisters, we live in a time where people don't have no problem calling you what you are. They have no reservations. They have no nervousness. They just as bold. They put their hand on the hip and let their backbone slip. Look you dead in the face and call you what you are. You know, years ago, folk would be more discreet. But now they just come out and say a whole word. And they don't care if they're in the house. They don't care if they're in the juke joint. If they're in Booker Bell Bottom or Larry's Lounge. Or if they're standing in the church. They're going to call you what you are. Are y'all going to help me preach here? They have no reservations about calling you what you are. And I came to tell somebody today that the devil knows that he's a liar. And he wants you to believe the lies that he's telling you. I found out that if the devil can't get you to tell a lie, he'll get you to believe a lie. If he know you ain't going to tell it, if he know you too honest to lie, no matter how many colors you put on it, white, lie, black, lie, the devil knows some folk just ain't going to lie. Amen. The devil knows some folk, God bless you, deep, the devil knows some folk just going to tell the truth. Come on, say amen. amen. But if he can't get you to tell one, he'll get you to believe one. Yes, sir. And the devil will tell you you're going to die. The devil will tell you don't nobody love you. The devil will tell you, don't nobody want to deal with you. The devil will tell you, you never going to get well. The devil will tell you, you can't be saved. I wish I had some amen. The devil will tell you, don't nobody like you. Listen, all those are lies. And it's the trick of the enemy to get you to believe the lie that the devil is telling you. Come on, say amen, y'all. Amen. He wants you to believe the lie that he's telling you. And notice, if you will, that it was the devil that told the first lie. Amen. Let's go back to the Bible. It was the devil that told the first lie. According to Genesis chapter 3 and verse number 4. Look what he said. And the servant said unto the woman, you shall not surely die. Amen. That's the lie. Yes, it was. The devil told the, the, the woman, the devil told Eve that if you eat of this fruit, now Eve had already been told by Adam, Adam had already been told by God that the day you eat the fruit, you shall die. So that was written in stone, that was concrete, that was definite. But here come on Slewfoot, here come on, y'all ain't talking to me, here come on snagging him out Satan, he slides through there and he comes up to the woman and he talks to the woman and he tells the woman that the day you eat, you will not die. In other words, the devil was telling the woman, that's a lie. Come on. But it was not God that told the first lie, it was the devil. Because the Bible said the day that she ate, she ate the fruit. And listen, if it wasn't enough for her to just eat and leave it alone, she gave it to her husband. Now, the Bible tells me he had to be somewhere near because the Bible said right after she ate, she gave it to him. So Adam must have been standing right there. Now, I wonder within my mind, and I know some things will understand better by and by, but I have a question I want to ask God. Now, God, if Adam knew that he shouldn't eat, and he was standing right there watching her getting ready to eat, why didn't Adam stop her from eating? Wow. Amen. But Adam didn't stop her from eating because the lie that the devil was telling was so powerful that it not only overpowered the woman, it overpowered Adam. Amen. Oh, y'all just sitting there looking at me. Come on and say amen. amen. And he told them the day you eat, you will not die. And the Bible said the day that they ate, they died. They didn't die naturally, but they died spiritually. In other words, when they ate that fruit or whatever it was, the Bible said their eyes became open. And at that very moment, guess what? Their fellowship was broken. That connection, I wish I had some help here. That connection that they had with God was broken when they ate that fruit. 
And so they died, not right then naturally, but they died spiritually. But the word death means a separation. Come on. Lord, our preacher, y'all wake up in here. Come on and say, praise the Lord. So that was a lie he told. And the, the devil is the originator. He's the founder. And he is the father of lies. I don't care what color it is. I don't care how sweet it sounds. I don't care how flattery it sounds. He's still the father of lies. Don't let the devil fool you. He is still a liar. He lies to those who want to trust and receive Jesus as their savior. The devil wants to make man, amen, basically think three ways about God. There are three ways that the devil want man to think or have an ideology of who God is. Number one, the devil wants man to think severely. He wants man to think what? Severely. That God is a cruel God. That God is a cruel God. The devil wants man to think that God is not a loving God, but God is a cruel God. And the devil would say, listen, if God was so loving, why he let them babies get burned up in that house? If God is so loving, why did he take my mother from me when she was a young woman? If God is so loving, why did I end up with cancer? If God is so loving, why am I going through this and why am I going through that? That is a lie that the devil is showing man to keep man from receiving Jesus as his Savior. He wants to paint God as a cruel God. But every one of us in here know God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Not only do we want to paint God to man as a cruel God, but he want man to think about God skeptically. Skeptically. Skeptic. To be a skeptic. In other words, having an attitude of doubt. God wants man to doubt God, period. He'll throw so many negative things into your life. He'll throw so many negative lies into your life wow. until you begin to doubt God. Even being saved and knowing the Lord as you know God. Even being a Christian, sometimes the devil will make you doubt your salvation. The devil will make you doubt. Are you really saved? Are you really going to heaven? Do you think you're really going to make it in? Do you think God really loves you? How many you know that's nothing but the devil? Come on and say amen. The devil will make you doubt if God is even with you. The devil will make you doubt if God even cares about you. The devil will make you doubt if God even see what you're going through. Because it is a lie that the devil is telling. And number one, if he wants man to see God severely, he wants man to see God skeptically, and then he wants man to see God suspiciously. Suspicious. A cautious distrust. In other words, when you're suspicious, amen, you're looking for something that really ain't there. And the devil will make man become suspicious about who God really is. Is God really God? Is there a God? Did we really come from monkeys? Maybe we from the Big Bang Theory? Maybe we all was there a real Adam? Was there a real Eve? Did Jesus really die on the cross? Come on, somebody. That ain't nothing but a lie. Come on here. And the devil will make people feel that I would get saved, but I'm a skeptic. I would get saved, but I think God is a cruel God. I would get saved if there really is a God. And that ain't nothing but a lie that the devil is telling. And the devil, let me tell y'all, sir, salvation is so simple. Salvation is not hard. Salvation is not complicated. But salvation is simple. You know who make it complicated? The devil. You know who make it hard? The devil. And the devil will tell you, if I can have y'all attention, the devil will tell you, you can't get saved. The devil will tell you, you've done too much dirt. The devil will tell you, you've done too much wickedness. The devil will tell you, you're too far into this, or you're too far into that, and you can't be saved, and you can't be delivered, and you won't do this, and you won't do that. The devil will tell you, you've got to do this to be saved. You've got to do that to be saved. You've got to do that to be saved. And the devil will put so much on you to be saved. You feel like, I can't live up to all of that. But the Bible said, all you've got to do is confess in your heart. And confess with your mouth. And believe the Lord Jesus Christ. That God raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. The Bible said, whosoever call on the name of which I have. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, 
the devil is still alive. That's the human salvation so broad, brother way, until folk that would get saved feel that they can't get saved. I got to go through this. I got to say four Hail Marys. I got to say four Hail Marys. I got to say this. I got to kiss the Father ring. I got to kiss the priest ring. I got to learn this prayer. I got to learn that prayer. I got to know how to come before the altar. I got to know how to kneel. Let me tell you, don't take all that. All you got to do is open your mouth and confess the Lord Jesus and I shall be saved. Come on. Come on. This is the trick. It's the lie of the devil. Am I preaching? Come on. I said, Am I preaching? Come it's on. a lie of the devil to make salvation so broad. The devil will make the requirements so high so you know you can't come up to that. Come but on. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heaven laden. He said, and I will give you a rest. I came to tell somebody these are all the lies that the devil is telling us. And in 2022, I came to tell somebody the devil is still a liar. Yes, sir. I said, he's still a liar. I said, he's still a liar. He's still lying. He's lying in 2022. All he did was just dress up the lie. He dressed it up. Lord have mercy. He ain't lying like he lied 10 years ago. He lying new now. He got a 22 <laughs> lie that he's telling. And all he did, David, was put some clothes on the lie. They made it look all right. They made it look like the truth. But mother, when you pull the clothes off it, it's still a lie right on. Come on, somebody. Can I preach? Should I preach? Shall I preach? Somebody preach for your and say, preach. I will say in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 12 and number 22. The Bible said the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in the people who are trustworthy. I heard him in Leviticus 19 and 11. He said, do not steal, do not lie, do not deceive one another. I heard him in Proverbs 13, 5. The righteous hates what is false, but the wicked make themselves a stench and bring shame on themselves. I heard it in Colossians chapter number three and verse number nine. Do not lie to one another since you have been taken off the old self with his practices. I heard it in Revelation 21 and eight. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and homongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake with burning with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. I heard in Proverbs 10, 1 through 7, he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not carry it in my sight. Can I preach in here? And here in the text of St. John 8 and 44, I want you to notice that Jesus' words in the text of St. John 8, 44, his words refer to the fall when Satan tempted Adam and Eve and successfully killed their spiritual life. Some people think that the reference in this particular text may also refer to Cain's murder of his brother Abel. And here in the text, Jesus, I preach if y'all hear me. I said, I preach as long as me. Where are my cheerleaders at? Come on, I need some cheerleaders. Jesus said, the devil, you're two things. He called the devil two things in, in this particular text. He called him a murderer, and then he called him a liar. Come on, somebody. Jesus responded to the scribes and Pharisees, the religious leaders of his day. They claimed that Abraham was their father, but Jesus and say you are of your father the devil and the lust of your father he will do Jesus said he was a murderer a killer come on somebody from the beginning and a bone not in the truth because they have no truth in him he looked them in the face he went to Dylan and Jesus told them you are of your father when your father speaks he speaks a lie everything come out of his mouth is a liar they claim to Jesus. They claim and say, Jesus, we are the seed of Abraham. Jesus said, you got that right. You're the seed of the devil. And what your devil do, that's what you're going to do. Your devil is up. Your father is a liar. And you do it. Just like your father do. Your father lied, so you lie. Your father murdered, so you murder. And I just stopped by 
835 Chevy Road on my way to heaven to let the church know that you haven't heard it lately that the devil is still a liar. I don't care if you don't like me. He's still a liar. He's a liar. In May of 22, just like he was a liar. In May of 21, he's still a liar. Wake up in here, y'all.
I'm going to revise that. Jesus called him alive, but I'm going to revise it for 2022. He's still alive. He's still telling lies. Huh? He is going to die. He is a you going to die early lie. He is a you got cancer lie. He is a you ain't never going to get married lie. See, the you is don't nobody want you to lie. See, the you is you ain't making it to heaven lie. See, the you going to hell lie. Woo, y'all just standing there looking at me. He's a liar. He told the first lie. And guess what? He's still lying. Those of you that are listening to me and looking at me, by way of social media or whatever, whatever your situation is, call the devil a liar. Look that sickness, look that disease in the face and say, you are a liar. I shall not die but live to declare the glory of the Lord, for the Lord has chastened me sore, but he has not given me over unto death. You are that liar. Refuse to die. Tell somebody refuse to die. Look at him and say, refuse to die. Be too honorary to die. Don't you know some folk too honorary to die? Fighting for everything in them. Fighting for dear life. Not to give them six months, they live six years later. Because oh, they, uh, they refuse to die. I don't care how much time the doctor gave you. If it's six months, it's a six month lie. If it's a year, it's a year lie. You got to stand on what you're saying. Come on and say, thank God. Thank God. I can't even tell somebody the devil is still a liar. And you better call him what he is because he ain't changed. He ain't your friend. You lose in the end. You can't hurt up on him. You can't lie up on him and think he's on your side because he ain't showed his ugly, ugly face. He ain't showed his true color. You think, oh, he's my buddy now. Oh, hallelujah. Sit <laughs> so down. Yes, sir. He's still a liar. Yes, sir. Am I preaching? Yes, sir. Come on, don't lie to me. Am I preaching? Yes, he, anybody give me something out of what I'm saying today? He's still a liar. He's a liar right on. Yes. Don't trust that brother. Tom said, don't let him ride. Yes. Let him ride. You're going, you're going to want to ride. Don't let him be your friend. Yes. You're going to lose in the end. Yes, He's still a liar. Yes. Some of y'all looking at me so hard. Yes. Ooh, they're looking at me so hard. Yes. But I'm going to keep saying the devil is a liar. Because yes. he is a liar. Yes. Whatever the name of God, I don't have to accept it. In the name of God, I ain't got to accept it. Yes. Come on, wake up, y'all. Did y'all just hear what I said? In the name of God, I ain't got to accept that. Some of y'all so passive with the devil. You can't be passive with the devil. You just roll over and look the other way. Amen. Let the devil walk up in front of you and down the back of you. Yes, sir. Let the devil walk up on your both feet. Amen. But you got to look at it. Look at me, y'all. Y'all say to get y'all before. Give me your attention. Amen. You got to look at the devil and tell the devil what he is. Those of you that's listening to me in social media or whatever, you got to look the devil in the face. Yeah, Things go wrong in your life and you know you didn't do nothing to make it happen to you. That's the devil. Yeah, you trying to do right. You trying to live right. You trying to walk up right. And the more you try to do right, the more hell you go through. That's the ah, devil. Yeah, it is. I can see if you were doing wrong. If you're doing wrong, you look to go through hell. Right. But if you try to do right, you're going to have some good things sometimes. Ever since somebody ever since I've been serving the Lord, I've been catching hell. That never went right. Then I'm gonna tell you well, what you serving God for. With God, all of your good days outweigh your bad days. With God, am I teaching? Come on, say praise the Lord. You can't trust that booger. You can't trust him. Just like the Indians used to say, white man talk with folk tongue. Folk tongue. That's what the Indians used to call white man. Talk with folk tongue. And mean the white man told us one thing and they turned around and took our land. Mm -hmm. Come on, say amen. amen. The devil can't change. Amen. Just like the man that was out there in the winter and he was out there in the snow and he saw a snake that froze. The snake was froze. Yes, sir. He took the snake home and put him in his bosom and warmed him up, man. He warmed the snake up. Yes. Got him in the house. The snake uh, defrosted, uh, thawed out, came back to life. And he was warm in the man's bosom. Yes, sir. And he turned around and bit the man. Yes, sir, he did. And the man said to the snake, why you bite me? All I did for you? <laughs> the snake told him, said, you knew I was a snake when you picked me up. I wish y'all would make some noise. You knew what I was. Come on, y'all. 
That's just like the devil. You know who the devil is? You know yes. You're going to pray with him if you want. You're going to mess around and get bent. Right. Yeah. The Bible says no man can take fire to his bosom and not be burned. Yeah, you fooling with that devil. Oh, he's my friend now. Because he's because he quoting a few scriptures. He quoting some scriptures. Oh, he say now nah, he quoting the way. He telling you what he know you want to hear. Until you get him there. Then when you get him there, he beat the hell out you. But then you gonna say, I thought he was a Christian. Some innocent women in church waiting for God to bless them with a husband. Innocent, sweet women, sweet women love the Lord. And they trying to wait on a husband. Waiting on a husband, ain't having premarital sex, ain't laying up with nothing. Just waiting on God. Amen. And here come this old slew foot, <laughs> jerry back devil, yes, sir. clean as the board of health, hair slick back, <laughs> telling her lies, whispering sweet nothings in her ear. Yes, sir. Old poor gal been waiting on God. She didn't got tired of waiting now, about to burn up. I ain't got no help here. You married folks don't know what I'm talking about, but you single folks know what I mean. Got the burn up. And she praying and over here he comes. And he looking holy. And he quoting scriptures. And he coming to Sunday school. And he coming to the morning service. And he right there with her. And she crying and said, oh, thank you, Jesus. My answer to prayer. And he, I know it's the Lord because he ain't said nothing about sex. So I know it's the Lord. And then all of a sudden you mess around and marry him. He stopped coming to church. You start showing up to church with black eyes. Teeth knocked out your mouth. He find out he whipping the hell out you. And come to find out he never had what he said he had in the first place. Amen. I'm talking about the devil is still a Say it louder. Liar. He just did all that to get you. Yes, sir. And sweet talk. Yes. And look religious. Yes. Look sanctimonious. Yes, sir. Only to find out all he wanted was to get your cookies. Yes, <laughs> Y'all forgive me. Amen. Amen. And he done did what he wanted to do. And now you a used bag of potato chips. And I ain't never, I ain't heard of nobody buying no used bag of potato chips. You a used 